Hello, I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Train Fever. Uh, the year is 1901. Uh, we're, we're, we're expanded into four cities now. I'm about to get run over. It's quite dramatic. Uh, to avoid breaking immersion, we'll step to the side. Just don't clip through the carriages. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we've got four cities up and running. Cities? They're not cities yet. They're towns. Uh, and those are Tewkesbury, our, uh, our illustrious original home. Nicely, widely spread out here, and still collecting coal for some unknown reason. Uh, what else have we got going on here? We've got Haverhill, which is uh, one of the larger towns in the game, um, and um, built up to that one. Ooh, interesting. That tells you stuff. Okay, that's interesting. I need to investigate this more clearly at some point in the future. I wonder if that, what we can determine from that. Uh, onwards, tour, tour, tour. Right, uh, Bex Hill that is not on sea. Uh, the ironic Bex huh? Hill. Huh? Huh? Yes. Destination shop. I, oh, you can interrogate passengers as well. Oh, that's fun. So she likes to go shopping in Haverhill. Well, who can blame her? Uh, yes, so here's our, our latest kind of big station here. Uh, well, our first big station, in fact, of, uh, of Bexhill on Sea. Um, and that's going to be the focus of, the, of this particular episode. I'll just take you out to show you Ripon. Ripon here. And, uh, and we're reaching the modern age. We are replacing horses with, uh, with their steam-driven equivalents. And, uh, and so far it's... Uh, semi-working, I guess. Uh, we've got uh, two uh, Mac buses, one running the Bexhill Circle. Hold on, let's, uh, let's go follow this chap for a moment. Yep. Follow that chap. Uh, who has both invisible driver and invisible passengers. I like it. The, uh, the spectral influence there needing to be carted round town. Uh, but that's all good. Um, not quite profitable yet, but will be. Um, we just have to uh, to wait for demand to pick up a little bit. Actually, I didn't check the speed of a Mac. Are they faster than their, uh, their tiddly friends? What have we got here? 24 kilometers an hour. Versus... Uh, one of these little fellas that's running the, uh, the Haber Circle at the moment. And they top out at 20. Okay, so they're quicker as well. Right, in that case, there's the, the value for my years. Pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, anyway, onwards. So we're in the uh, in the business of trying to drive a little bit of growth. And, uh, and well, it's going to happen. Um, but my next objective is to link Bexhill all the way up to Haverhill. Uh, which, I mean, the, the link's already there, but I, I want to create, uh, to, to merge the two express routes uh, onto one and uh, and potentially uh, add another train into that route. But in order to do so, we're going to need to do some uh, station and track upgrading, which to avoid upsetting every single train in existence, we're going to want to pause the game. Because I don't know what's going to happen when I take a bulldozer to this station that does not want to be upgraded. Huh? Yes, yes, ha, huh, indeed. Does not want to be upgraded through any easy means. So, it's bulldozer time. And uh, and I think we'll uh, we'll also future-proof this to some degree. And uh, and lengthen the platform. That's, that's a fair chunk of chunk of solid right there we go that's that track gone boom that's that station gone no mercy no pity right here we go so let's uh what do we want here do we want a two or a four where else is this potentially going to go maybe a direct line to ripon do we really think that's likely what if we kitted ripon out with I don't think it's likely. It's a shame that, that stations aren't multi, uh, multi-function, multi-purpose, um, because uh, were they so, it would. Uh, ah, right. Okay. Hold on. What? How much disaster have I actually made here? A goodly amount. What are we colliding with? <clears throat> ah, a bit of existing track. Okay. Right. Well, let's. Uh, yeah. Let's bulldoze all that. I've got the cash for this. 
should adjust as well. And uh, I, oh, I, I definitely checked before starting to demolish things that, that I had the cash for. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got collisions happening with all those trees and parkland. Well, you know what? I don't give a rat's ass about trees and parkland. So, uh, how much? You're charging me 178 grand. Thieving peasants. There we go. Still more collision. Right. Well, in that case, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to. Just ease you, ease, ease you out a little. Right, bit more road, bit more road. Because I'm not going to pay, I'm not going to pay that kind of money. What do you think I am? I mean, hell, I've halved my flaming budget already. Uh, this is uh, another spending disaster, courtesy of Colonel Failure. Right, there we go. Let's bang that in there. We're probably going to want him to uh, to, to clear that uh, clear that signal. Okay, that that worked right. And we can go up there. The slope is not too high. What are you What are you rabbiting on about? Let's go as far as there. Hit accept. Let's go as far as there. Hit accept. And then with that one, let's slope too high. Interesting. What's it trying to do? Well, yes, that slope is rather high, isn't it? Okay, I think what I need to do here is, is stick those in an elevated fashion. My God, I'm going to hemorrhage cash doing this. Just like I hemorrhage cash doing everything else. Welcome to How Not to Play with Uncle Failure. Up. Up. Why have I built this flaming thing in a ditch? Look, let me connect one track or I'm going to be, you know, just unhappy. Come on. Oh, come on. Look, look you can get across there. It's fine. It's fine. You can you can handle it. This is a disaster. Like many disasters that have come before it, this one largely of my own making. Now look, I just want you to. The the problem is that you've elevated the flaming rock. You should have built that higher up. What I wouldn't do for an undo button. This was supposed to be easy. Possibly why I didn't uh, didn't give it the, the the credibility it perhaps wanted, and it's not going to let me move that road until I build a bypass. No, don't do don't do anything. Let's build a bypass. Let's get rid of that better road. This is perhaps another expensive way of solving the problem. Now, will it let me bypass from here? Possibly not. There's not a terrain collision. Look, you're just crossing the flaming train tracks. Down. You can't get any neater than that. What's your problem? Train. Look, level crossing. That's all I want. That's all I want. No. No. I'm not going to build a flaming bridge. You can forget that. I have wrecked this. Okay, well, let's see if we can connect up. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to see if I can connect this side up without wanting to tear my hair out. Right, it's going to cost me 24 grand. Sod what it's doing with the elevation. Oh, no, 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 no. You'll just regret that, won't you? Let's check carefully and make sure that that's coming on the track you want. It's not, see? Look, just as well you checked, isn't it? This track, which will link up to there, which is going to cost me a paltry 28k. Right, we can take that. That's fine. You're probably going to want to put some signals back in, otherwise that will stop working. And you're probably going to want to sort those routes out because they are probably not working either. 
So if I could delete this bit of road, then hook it all up, then reconnect the road, that would be easy. But no, no such luck. Ooh, I wonder, what if we chuck this down here and then up there? What are you colliding with? You're saying you've got terrain alignment collision. With what? All right, let's smooth the terrain then. Go, oh, lovely and smooth. Right, you can drive a bus across there. There we go. Oh, I can't even. I don't know what they're griping about. Uh, uh, road, please, road, road. Right, you. No, you're lying. What is your drama? Look, look, it's this is this is simple. Right, it needs to it needs to go down there. All right, okay. So, what if we go Forgive me for the for the uh the the silence, but obviously this requires a little more concentration. This is going to this is going to pain me. I don't want to have to do that. Especially since it didn't flip in work. Why am I going to all this effort, uh, you ask yourselves, not unreasonably. Um, oh, look at this. What have I got left? I've got 400 grand left. Okay, we can afford to do this. Let's try evening this up. This is not going to be cheap. We'll be talking 13 grand. Okay. That's not the end of the world. Another 10. Oh, I see. That's a that's a feature now we can't readily fix. Okay. Talk to me. Thirty k. All right. I don't want to spend any more than that. All right. First things first. Let's get the track across the road. Okay. We can worry about everything else after that point. Collision. No collision. That's just that collision. What is it? Hold on. That looks like a green tick waiting to happen. Right, you are across the road. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Right. We went here. Collision. Not enough space. Pointing the wrong way. There. That's the one. Right. Right, okay, two tracks across the road. Not brilliantly, but they are across the flipping road and that's a start. The slope is too high. Oh, bite me. It's not too high in the slightest. There's not a lot I can do about that without deleting this freaking station. <sighs> One could become just a little annoyed. The slope is too high. Well, what am I supposed to do about that? I mean, yeah, there's a slope there, but just you know, go easy. Stick it in, stick it in first, and and take it easy going up the up the sodding slope. And why are you terrain colliding now? The slope's too high, and there's a terrain collision. Look, I've only just got you across the road here. This this whole area is going to look like it's been bombed. Okay, what about... I don't really want to remove... I, I didn't really want to remove both of them there. That was, that was generous of you. You utter fascists. Oh, hold on. It seems to allow me to do that. 
It's ugly. That's f sin. Can you connect up? The slope's too high. Well, we can correct the slope. Right, there we go. Slope's too high, but it's quite all right. We'll allow you to make a 200-foot ditch for the road to go through. All right, that's progress. Let's let the train run, although it might be a bit confused. Can't say I'd blame it, to be honest. We have to let it run a fair bit. Clear out the way. This is going to take a while to get back to profitability again as well. Oh, hell. I may even have to do yet another loan in order to get myself back in business. Right, that's, this was supposed to be easy. Terrain alignment collision. What terrain alignment is colliding with you, my friend? Well, I am sorry to hear of your problems. The slope's too high. Well, do something about it. I don't want to have to delete the flaming track all the way up this hill. You can have the next bit, all right? And then after that, no more. I'm going to regret this. Here we go. Okay, we can take that. It's going up. Can it go up any further? No. Okay, that's so that's max slope. You can follow suit. Good. How are we doing? 160k left. Right, we're definitely going to need to take out a loan. And we've actually solved nothing in the process. We haven't we haven't connected up. This was I'd, I'd, I had a million and a half here to get this done. Um, but this is you know this is why we play. Slope is too. High. The slope's not too blaming high. Can you can you manage that? I reckon you can, you know, if I get rid of that other bit of track. All right, let's clear that train through. Go on. Yep, go on. Clear off. I know we're going to have a lot of puzzled trains anytime soon. Okay, right. Oh, fortunately, that makes a bit of profit. We've got a bit more cash now. Uh, right, yep, delete that. I'm not going to chase you all the way up the hill. I can, I can tell you that for nothing. Right, from there to there. Bosh. Do it. Bang. A couple of episodes ago, we were talking about making your lines attractive by not using unnecessary cuts and unnecessary hills. Welcome to completely stupid unnecessary cuts and unnecessary hills. I might make a bridge there, you know. Except, of course, I've got to route around it in order to uh, to delete this bit of road. It won't let me. So if I do that, it's a main connection. I've got to build a bypass first. Uh, and of course, it won't accept from here, crossing the line, you know, just willy-nilly, assuming I can persuade the flaming thing to do so, uh, over to here as a bypass, despite the fact it very much is a bypass. It doesn't quite understand what a bypass is. Okay, right. Well, look, we've got that one up, and that's a start. Uh, right, now, I imagine I've probably got some confused waypoint action going on here. So they're going to change line at one end or the other. And, of course, we're single line up here as well. So there's, the, there's a line switch. Now we're going to need to double line up the other end. Well, maybe we don't, won't actually. Maybe a single will suffice. That would be quite cute, actually. Uh, and then all the way down here, there is no line changing option to be had. Where they come back down the bottom. And you're going to want them on the other line to come back uphill. So uh, we want a line switch at the first opportunity. I see you're quite happy for me to do that. And simply because it's good practice, I'm going to have one in the opposite direction as well. What have we got left? 92. Okay, time to get some waypoints out. Right, waypoint 1 is there. Waypoint 2 is... Hold on, hold everything. Hold, hold on. So, there we're coming north. Coming north. Choo-choo. Up we go. Onto this platform. 
going south, we're going on the other one. Well, that's moved us the other way around, hasn't it? Okay, well, so if they're coming in on that one, we want them to come out on this one. Oh, that's okay, we can do that. Right, put this waypoint in here. Do we need signals? This is temporary. This is only temporary. Yeah, but we want it to work in the temporary. Right, okay, right, so let's, uh, yeah, we're, this is this is confused, confused the hell out of Haver Tukes Express. Actually, it's done a halfway decent job of routing itself. Actually, it's done a pretty good job. Okay, so I think we can probably get away with just sticking a couple of signals in for now and seeing if that runs. So if we put a signal here, that will stop everything coming downstream while it goes into the platform, comes back out. Anything to interfere with its problems there? Interfere with its problems. Anything to cause its problems? This chap, of course, is, of course, on the wrong line. That's unusual. Yeah, you're flowing, you're, you're going upstream there. And that's going to give us drama because it means there's nowhere for this chap to clear. Right, so what we need to do, and it's probably too late. Oh, we might be lucky. Right, you, line, go to the depot can't find a path to the depot. What, can you just back up a little? Oh, had I caught it? Had I caught it? But a moment earlier. Come on, there's got to be a solution to this one. There's got to be a solution to this one, and then we can wrap it up. Ah, 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 we could just stick some points in there and hopefully uh, okay, your Haver Tubes is set line. Okay. Hopefully he will switch line and that will make everything better. If you don't switch line, that's going to that's gonna create trauma. Well, hello. I hope those are signals. Good work. Flawless. Right, okay, you're going to now come tearing down. Yeah, very good. Very good. Okay, right. So now we have to wait for uh, a, a slight move towards profitability again in order to finish this project. Good God, that cost more money than I was expecting. And holy hell did I make a mess of the train line outside Hayville. Uh, that was just not what I wanted to do at all. But we do now have, we do now have double tracking and a larger station, not to mention a longer station. We've got a max length station waiting here. Uh, I wonder if that other line is working still. Uh, let's ditch that. You're just waiting for Haver Bex. Oh, Haver Bex is fine. Haver Bex has not been upset by any of this in the slightest. They have continued oblivious to any potential trauma. You are carrying passengers, right? We need the money. No, you're not. Okay, cool. And of course, we've now got to wait once again for people to get used to the concept that they can get trains from here. Anybody. Look, come on. It's a station upgrade. That's all. If there were a button to have done it, I would have did, you know, that would have been painless. Tell me you're carrying passengers. What's the matter with you? It's fine. I fixed it. Maybe I need to set it up as a whole new line. Nope, it's it's giving me the three minute wait time, so that shouldn't be an issue. 
Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I'm going. I'm probably going to let this run just a little until some passengers uh, start making use of this line again, and uh, and then I'll return and, and fill you in on progress. Thank you very much. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'd appreciate it. And uh, if you hit a like button, maybe other people will do too. Think of the example that you're setting. Thank you very much. See you next time. Colonel Failure, out of here. Cheerio.